All right, I'm going to show you how to add unlike fractions. But first, let's just add two like fractions just to review what that's like. Ni it's nice and easy. It'd be nice if all fractions were like fractions to make our job easier. But we can we can do the unlike fractions too. So here we go. We're going to keep the denominators the same. So the denominator is the uh, bottom number of the fraction. What color do we want today? How about green? So these are the same. So our answer is going to have a denominator of 4. So that's nice. Does that look like a 4 to you? Hopefully. Okay. And then you just simply add the numerators, the numbers on the top. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So that's 5 fourths. You could turn that into a mixed fraction, 1, one and 1 fourth, or, or just leave it as 5 fourths. So that's that's nice and easy. It'd be nice if, if all fractions were, were like that. But when they're not, we'll, we'll know what to do. So let me pause this and bring in some unlike fractions. All right, so what if you had something like that? You've got two fractions here with different denominators. So the denominator of this one of 2 thirds is 3, and the denominator of this one, uh, 3 fourths, is 4. So these are unlike fractions because they have different denominators. So here's what you do. Can't, you can't add them yet, so you have to have common denominators. So let me grab my green again. So step one, write the first few multiples of each denominator. So what that means is I could take so the first denominator here, 3. Uh, Where did my green go? OK, here we go. 3. OK, so what are the multiples of 3? Uh, so 3 times 1 is 3 is 3 is I have problems with the equal signs. Okay, that that looks like an 8 and a C. Let me back up. All right, so I scrapped writing that by hand because that's too hard to read. So I'm going to write out the multiples of 3. Keep going here. So 3 times 1 is 3. Um, 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. And I don't know, you can do 4 or 5. Depends on when you get tired of it. If you don't have enough multiples, you'll you'll find out. So I'm going to do 5. There we go. So here are the multiples of 3. And you just take the number and multiply it by 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4. So 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 are all multiples of 3. So let's do the same thing with 4. Let's find out the multiples of 4. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. Uh, let's just call that enough. Let's be, let's be done with that. Okay, so step 2. So step 1 was first find the first few multiples of each denominator. So we did that. Here are the multiples of 3. The first uh, 5 of them. Here's the first 4 multiples of 4. Step 2 is find the first multiple they share in common. And that's called the least common multiple, or LCM. So let me go back to my pen tool and grab. So the the least one they have in common. So 3 and 4 are not the same. 6 and 8 are not the same. Here we go. 12, 12 and 12. 12 is the first multiple that 3 and 4 share in common. So we're going we're gonna to make 12 our new denominator for each fraction. So we need to turn 3 into 12 and 4 into 12. So let me pause it and get these guys out of the way, and then we'll, we'll keep working. OK, so the new denominator for each of our fractions is going to be 12, because we decided that's the least common multiple that the denominators have in common, that is 3 and 4. So it's going to be something twelfths plus something twelfths. What you do is figure out, how do I turn 3 into 12? Well, I multiply it by 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So I do the same thing to the, num the numerator. 2 times 4 is 8. So, and I can do that because 4 over 4 is 1. Uh, oh, there we go. 
4 over 4 equals 1. Any number divided by itself is 1. So if I multiply a fraction by some number over the same number, I'm really multiplying this fraction by 1. So it stays itself. It just looks different. So 8 twelfths is the same thing as 2 thirds. It just looks different. So we've converted this into 8 twelfths. OK, now to make a 4 into a 12, what do we do? We multiply it by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So we do the same thing to the numerator. So 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. So now we've got fractions with common denominators, 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths. So we just keep the denominator the same. That's what we were fighting for this whole time, to have a common denominator. So of course we're going to keep it. Our answer would be something twelfths. And then we just add across the top. 8 plus 9 is 17. By the way, does anyone think this equal sign looks like a cheeseburger? Yeah.